We're going to learn how to multiply fractions, including those with negatives. And in this lesson, I think you're going to like it quite a lot. It's definitely easier than adding and subtracting fractions. Our algorithm for multiplying is to first rewrite all your mixed numbers as improper fractions. Second, this is optional, but I think it makes problems a lot simpler. Cross-cancel your common factors from one numerator and one denominator. Um, you could even do that just simplifying a single fraction as well. The third thing, you're going to multiply straight across, and then you'll simplify your fraction. Do be careful that you look for the correct sign and make sure if it's positive or a negative that you include the correct one. So our first example is this, negative 3 eighths times negative 11 twelfths. Notice this does not have any mixed numbers, so we can move right on to step two, which is going to be to look for the common factors. I notice right away that negative 3 and 12 have a common factor of 3. 3 goes into both. So what I'm going to do is divide those both by 3. Negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply straight across. Negative 1 times negative 11 is positive 11. 8 times 4 is 32. And 11, 32 seconds can't be reduced. It's already in simplest form, so that's my final answer. If you don't like the cross-canceling method, I will show you here in the traditional method. And what I would do in this case, if I wanted to go traditional, was just multiply straight across originally. So I would say negative 3 times negative 11 is 33. 8 times 12 is 96. Sorry, I got something up there. Um, and then I'm going to reduce 33 over 96. So you're going to look for a common factor that goes into 33 and 96. And it's 3, just like we reduced by 3 earlier. Here we could reduce by 3 at the end. 33 divided by 3 is 11. 96 divided by 3 is 32. And we still get the same answer of 11 over 32. So you'll pick which method you like better, though I will show the cross-canceling method most of the time. Okay, so this method is negative 5 6 times negative 4 15. Notice again, we have uh, no mixed numbers, so we can move right into cross-canceling. And I'm going to start with negative 5 and 15. They both have a common factor of negative 5 or positive 5. I'll probably just divide them both by positive 5. Negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And kind of cool here, 4 and 6 also have a common factor. They both can be divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then I'm going to multiply straight across. So when I multiply my new numerators, I have negative 1 times 2, and that's negative 2. 3 times 3 that's 9. My final answer here is negative 2 ninths. Okay, let's go ahead and look at a mixed number one. So negative 2 and a half times 1 and 3 fifths. This time I have some mixed numbers, so I need to change them into improper fractions first. So ignore the negative sign first, and when I change 2 and a half to a mixed number, or from a mixed number into an improper fraction, Remember kind of the shortcut, you do 2 times 2 and add the 1. So 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. This is going to be 5 halves. And again, if I change this one, 1 and 3 fifths, I would do 5 times 1 is 5. Add the 3, we get 8. So this is 8 fifths. So I'm going to actually be multiplying negative 5 halves times 8 fifths. And when I do this, I'm going to multiply straight across. Again, I'm going to look for common factors that I can reduce. Hey, negative 5 and 5, they can divide them both by 5. And we get negative 1 over 1. 8 and 2, they can both be divided by 2. So I get 4 and 1. And when I multiply straight across in this case, I have negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. 1 times 1 is 1. And negative 4 over 1 just equals negative 4. So that's my final answer.